I've been asked if I can make an oil change video for this bike, although it's it's a pretty simple procedure. I took most of this footage from when I was redoing the head gasket, so only this beginning part will be, you know, actual fresh material for this video. The rest of it was from the head gasket rebuild. Anyway, some footage I didn't take during that was where you actually put the oil. This little fill cap right here is where you put the oil. So that's that's really the only bit that I didn't film when I was redoing the head gasket. And then that skid plate, which really, darn it, it's easier to see from the other side. You don't really have to remove this entire skid plate when you do an oil change procedure. You only have to remove this front little cover, and that's it. One of the first things I do when I change the oil is I pull off this little splash guard deal right here, because that's got to come off. And then uh, when you do go to start changing your oil, this this is for your oil filter. It even says it right on there. That this is going to come off. And then uh, got a, two more strainers that are on this bike here. This one's going to cover your exhaust big time. Just flows all over it. So you might stick a piece of cardboard up in there so it kind of drains out. But it's this one right here that comes off and a, a strainer comes out of it. The next one's underneath. And that one right there, up under the bike. So that's the, the other one you got to pull out right there to do oil changes, that is. All right, there's what it looks like with the oil cap, you know, oil filter cap cover off. What I do is, after I take the bolts out, I beat this with a rubber mount so I can turn these ears to about like here. And then I grab them with my index fingers and wiggle this off. That being the oil filter, it's a little tough to get out in any conventional way. Maybe you could stick an O-ring pick in there, but I have this real high-powered magnet, and I stick it up to there, and that pulls the oil filter out for me. And uh, here's the other side where we took off this oil screen deal, and you'll pull, you'll pull this off which is aluminum and then you'll pull that filter piece out that strainer right there with needle nose pliers there's another one up in here I still gotta pull it out but that's that other bolt you can see my I removed the skid plate and everything don't do that you don't have to do all that and I also removed the exhaust but we, we all know I'm getting ready to remove the engine so alright for oil here's the oil I use I, a lot of us use this oil it's good oil it looks like blood. It, it's like red when you put it in, which is nice because you can see it in the the glass oil gauge, you know, on the bike. Do yourselves a favor. Use motor coat, okay? When you do an oil change, for this bike, it's two quarts of this and two ounces of this. And you'll, you'll be glad that you put the motor coat in there big time. Here's your oil fill re-kit. Make sure you buy the whole kit. Don't skimp out and just get the oil filter. You're going to want to get all the new strainers and the aluminum cover bolt because that one will strip out on you real easy. They're real delicate aluminum threads. It's tough holding the phone to do this, but uh, this is the bolt I'm talking about, this like cover cap bolt. Because every time I change the oil, I end up needing to replace this anyway. For the price of what you pay for your bike, your strainer, that goes with that. Versus, you know, the, the 30 bucks it costs for this oil refill kit. Just just get the kit. Just, just get it. You won't regret that you did it. Alright, so I got some of my printed out service manual stuff here for Torque Specs. Because it's so easy to tear up the aluminum threads on this. This one here on the side that pours all over your exhaust looks like that is about 9 foot pounds or 12 newton meters. Then you got your oil drain plug. That's where, where you gotta remove this to get to it, right? That's back in there where it's pitch black. That one's actually steel, so 
There's your oil drain plug. And you got 15 newton meters. Sorry about my puppy. He's whining. You know, or 11.1 foot pounds. And then uh, here we are for your oil filter location. 10 newton meters or 7.4 foot pounds. I just wanted to share that with you guys. And of course, I had kind of edited the, what they had put because this is what I end up putting. And it's not two ounces of motor coat I use, it's four ounces of motor coat. And that's that's it. Just slap it back together, dump your oil in it, and get back out on the road. Oh, and I do a lot, <laughs> I do check my chain pretty frequently. And you know, maybe while you're doing your oil change, clean and lubricate your chain. And uh, have fun out there.